Hey everybody, welcome back. David Eon and the lovely Miss Lady Pop Hunter behind the camera. And we are doing another unboxing, Masters of the Universe related unboxing, and this is Hordak Maquette variant, number 179 of 250. It's written on here somewhere. Yeah, right I see there. it. I'm all zoomed in. 179 of 250. I thought you already had a tweeter head, uh, Hordak. Yeah, and then this one came out, and I like this variant <laughs> better than the, than other, the other one. So I don't I know. I see. And how that's gonna work out? Yeah, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Because I get to I get to admit I wasn't too thrilled with the other one. I wasn't. Once I got it, and um, and we can compare it. Yeah, we'll get the other after, one up here after um, after we, we do get this, this out. Uh, we could compare the two, but I wasn't too impressed with the color. I thought um, they could have did better with the coloring and with the the poles is fine, but the way that the base is, and I know the base on this one is going to be the exact same. The yeah. pose is going to be the same, but the color is going to be different. Um, and of course, on the computer, the color is also always great. So. That looked like what I already got. Maybe they just reused the box. The same box? I hope so, because I am about to be really upset. It says variant edition. Yeah, it does, does it say, say that big and bold on the box. Because this looks like, yeah, it's a, uh, right here, it says variant edition, and I can feel it. That's a sticker. Okay. Boy, and that was lazy and On cheap. the top, too, mm -hmm. you'll see here, that's a sticker. Okay. That they just stuck on there. Okay. It says variant edition. Yeah, that is very lazy. <laughs> Instead um, of getting them, making a new box with the new coloring. Yeah, thanks a lot. They just man. put it in the <laughs> That's not a good sign to me. Um, Push it over on the table more. Thank you. See. And... Like I was saying, I wasn't too happy with the other one. The color I thought was off, but also I was not um, happy with the big exposed joint thing where the magnets go together yeah. for this figure. I thought that they did not do a very good job of masking those connecting points. Well, the color for me was okay. The thing I didn't like, I think... Oh, the Where, metallic. The metallic. I yeah. think they should have used a metallic paint. And if I knew how to paint, I would do it myself. Um, paint the red parts a metallic red. Yes. Or it looks more like a burgundy. Um, I think that would have just made the whole thing just pop and make it look better and also I don't like the what they did with the base because they have the Hordak symbol but then they got it turned in such a way yeah, you can't an see it yeah and I thought that was kind of weird and again this is going to be the exact same except for the color it's supposed to be different but the base is going to be the same and um, they're going to use a, a filmation uh, a color filmation and a filmation head. Yeah. So we'll see how it, how it goes. Alright. Okay, let's look at it in the box in case there's a problem. Tweet ahead won't say I did it. Okay. Okay. And we're going to see as I pull mm -hmm. all these pieces out as well. And we'll take them out of the out of this case one at a time. Okay. And start assembling it. And it shouldn't be much. It's not going to be like that Prime One Serpentor. Yeah, well, it was like it seemed like it was a hundred pieces. Yeah, and then you see that matches. It says 179 of 250 total pieces. Yeah. And then it says variant edition on yeah. it. And then, of course, you'll never see this again. No. <laughs> it's going to be upside down. And you take a look around this. Yeah, and... And that, ba yeah, this really does look very similar 
to the other one except that the color is coloring is a little richer than is on the other one and yes. when I finish putting it together I'll bring the other one over and stand them side by side yeah and then we can do a comparing step-by-step -step comparison mm -hmm. so there's that piece mm -hmm. and yeah you can really see the difference here okay uh, trying to pick up where we left off because we had a little flub with the camera there but the bat magnet and the magnet is prominent and this is actually a problem in a lot of these I found out just recently trying to repair a statue mm -hmm. when the magnet is that close to the surface like that mm -hmm. if something breaks yeah. it's hard to reattach that and it's hard to get it out too but that fits right in there and then I'll pull the torso up mm -hmm. and I'll take a close look at the torso which is as you pointed out quite literally the exact same torso mm -hmm. just repainted yeah they repainted it blue <laughs> again the color he was on um, more filmation, filmation the filmation colors um, but the what's this call all of that's the yeah. same the uh, vest, the armor, and the sash, yeah, and, the and all that stuff is sabatons exact same. and everything is mm -hmm. identical to yeah. the original. Yeah, to the first statue. And yeah. again, we're gonna pull it out so you can see what see we're it talking side by about. Side. And of course, that keys in right here because he only actually has one key in the foot, and it locks down into that base like that. And he's on. And this is a different piece. That's actually the cannon arm. Yeah. That he used in filmation. But you don't get this with the other statue. No, you got a, a sword. Not a sword, but his havoc. His staff, staff yes. Yeah, the staff. So the I think, staff, not the I havoc think, staff. Not the heavy staff, yeah. Just staff. I, which I think is a nice touch. Yeah. Actually, I like that. I'm going to set it back down in here for now. Got a uh, same pointing hand that you got the first time. Mm -hmm. Repainted mm -hmm. in this color scheme. And I didn't have a problem with the right arm, as I recall. Mm-hmm because the right arm when it keys in like that it covers the seam it was the left arm or the left hand when I attached it that the seam I wasn't happy with now you see here uh, here's your cape that looks more and it's wrapped vinyl. on a piece of cardboard okay to keep it stiff yeah. And it looks really uh, like a richer red. The yeah, other one I think is the a other deep one's burgundy. Black. I think it's black. Yeah. Your other one is black on the outside. Yeah. With this same like satin on mm -hmm. the inside. And then that that feels like plastic actually. And there is no wiring in here, just on the outsides. Wire on the outside, but not in the in the middle. And it's got these uh, straps here like this uh -huh. that go over the shoulder pads when it magnets in. Set so we'll that set that down for, for, for a moment. We're getting there. And these will be the two shoulder pads. And I'll bring these up so you can see. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And again. Magnets. They gotta magnetize in. Yeah. With the cape. If I can figure out which one is left and which one is right. I guess this must be this one. Yes. Okay. So you put 
put that in there, mm -hmm. and then lead it through, and there's a groove. And that's weird. That is a little awkward, the way that sets. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like it's down as far as it could be, because the strap is lifting it slightly. Oh, okay. I just like it to be deeper so that you can't bump into it and have that fall out. Yeah. You know, that's a, a huge fear for people with statues. Mm -hmm. Something falling and dropping off. Are you bumping it? Yeah. Here is your left hand. And that does happen. You you see all these statue channels and everybody's got something that was broken or dropped or I had to fix this and I had to glue this back and mm -hmm. you get a lot of that. And I think this is the hand I had the problem with last time. Yeah. Let's see if they fix this or not when you plug it in. If you can see the seam. I think that does look a little better. It does look a little better than it did before. And then finally, the filmation style head, and I think that's all the pieces. So here is your filmation style or colored head. Actually, it is style because the jaw is different mm -hmm. than the other one. The ears are different. And again, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison in a moment. Okay. There's your magnet. Keys right in. And they did not correct it with the head. Oh, you can still see I the joint. Uh, yeah, I can see that seam. Let's Granted, see. you're not going to be looking. You uh, shouldn't. You want to? You want me to take it off or take the camera off? Um. Yeah. Are you finished? Are you ready to do your walk around? Well, I can walk around in a moment. Do you want it with or without the gun arm? Let's look at it with the gun arm, just uh -huh. so everybody can see what that looks like. Oh, okay. It goes on that arm. That like makes that. me nervous. It looked like it just want to fall off. I think that's the right direction. But the, the, it's uh, in there good. I can feel it. Okay. <laughs> Let's but back we'll, it up. And that's yeah. not from here, looking at it, you know, it looks good from here. Yes. But again, the, the issue that I have with the base, why is the bat off on the side? It seems like it's not centered. It seems like you should be looking at it the way that we're looking at it right now. Yeah. But then he's turned away. Or facing towards it. But yeah. I'll, I'll take this off here and okay. walk around it real quick and just take a good look. And then we'll get the other one out and put them side by side. Okay. And get in nice and close on Hordak here. And just really quickly, I'll show you what I was talking about. Is if you look here, you can see the gap on the jawline. And at the back of the head where it was connected on you can see that opening and I just rock the head a little bit granted you're not gonna be standing back here looking at it but I do like to point those things out it's, it's important to a lot of people those small details mean a lot sometimes I like that they gave him a cannon you know what, what would have been a nice touch is if you could put a battery in that unit. It's big enough that you could put a battery in there so that there was a light mm -hmm. inside the end of this cannon. I think that would have been a great touch. I think that's a missed opportunity on the part of Tweeterhead. Good sculpting detail. Overall. What would you rate the paint scheme? I like the paint a lot better on this. Mm -hmm. 
than I did on the other one. Mm -hmm. I think they they painted it to look metallic-ish, but it was really kind of dull mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah, they did a better job of uh, hiding the seam on the hand here than they did previously. But I like the paint scheme on this. And they cheated because it's all pretty much the same except for the head sculpt. <laughs> yeah, it's the exact same. They probably mm. had 250 that didn't sell. <laughs> and they said, you know what, we're getting rid of this. <laughs> you I'm think serious. so? Because, I mean, you know. And I'll lift up the cape um, so you can see the back here. What about the sculpt? What's your, your thought on the sculpt? And you miss an opportunity on the back of this sculpt with the cape mm -hmm. also. But I, I like the paint on this one better. And you can see the other Hordak in the background there with the statues. And I'll bring them over in a moment. I like this one better. Okay. I still think they could have sealed up that seam on his head more efficiently. and just didn't. And I like the cannon arm also. Yeah, I like that then. If you take that for a moment. Okay. I will go ahead and carry the other one over. Alrighty. Let me move this arm out of the way. Put that away. Here. Yeah. Okay. And now you can walk around and take a look at the two of them side by side. And you can see the obvious color difference in the body. Yeah. You have this one over here, which has more of a filmation coloring. And this one. Comic um, bookish. Yeah, yeah. Comic book bookish with the head, the bony head. Um, the red on the comic book version is a deeper, more blood, almost uh, uh, burgundy-like. Pointing out here what I was talking yeah. about, if you come around like under here, you can see that the seam on his head and come under his jawline also, you can actually see the lip under his jaw yeah. of how just how ill-fitting this head is on this particular version of the statue. It doesn't even root in very well. Yeah, it rocks and yeah. do all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, But again, you know, this one, I think, I think it would have looked better with a little more metallic. Yeah. This one, um, you know, you got a, a richer red, the blue of the, uh, the body looks good. I think it, it pulls out that that filmation look with the white head. I like the cannon arm. I like that they put the emblem on it. That was a good touch. I like the uh, the collar. It's the same collar on both. Yeah, um, I don't think they hardly even repainted that. No, it looks very similar. This one's a little darker, perhaps, but you know that. Yeah, they didn't change the uh, the breastplate at all the breastplate is is really nice but it's the the problem i have also um again i wish they had turned this the bat Facing symbol way. yeah I understand. but i like it overall you know i like the bony face coloring better um yeah i think the filmation one pops better i think the colors stand out more yeah but this is the hordak and you have the original one that came out and the variant and again I got the variant because of the color different I was difference I was hoping that the color would be I don't know and of course that I would like the, the color. staff and the staff is very awkward to set in because of the way it goes in and then this wrist is exposed even more than the one that's or than the hand that's already on there. So mm -hmm. you put this on, you can see a deep seam. And if you saw our, our previous unboxing, I showed that in great detail. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I don't know. I don't know my. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you get two? I know. I don't know my exact feeling on it. I don't hate it, but yeah. I don't love it either. Um, 
I got the other one thinking that it would be enough of a change to make me like, okay, now this is what I wanted. Um, again, I don't hate it. You know, I like it. I like I like it being a part of my collection and everything. If I could paint, I would paint one of them at least to do the metallic. There's no way I could change that, but that's okay. You know, I like it overall because I like the character. I like the um, Masters of the Universe line, and Obviously. I think it. Yeah, <laughs> I think it fits in well um, with what I'm trying to do and where I'm going. Actually, Tweeterhead has a big line of Masters of the Universe coming out. We're well, like getting that merman coming out. It looks that actually, merman, yeah, that yeah. merman looks really good. Yeah. Um, will I get it? I'm not sure. I doubt it. I don't know. Um, you know, but we'll see how it goes. But this is what we unboxed today, so we wanted to share you and know, uh, tell us, tell what, us you what you think. Yeah. Um, which one do you like? And is it anything about it you don't? 